Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we take a look at creating custom transformers for HR7 suit. To do this we're going to create a sample custom transformer which concatenates the first name and last name of a patient together and returns it as a variable that we can then use in the rest of our workflow. We'll start by jumping across to Visual Studio and I'm going to create a new project and I'm going to choose a class library and I'm going to call it custom transformers sample great I'm going to start by renaming my class to the name of my transformer and it's going to be a concatenate name and now we've just got to add a reference to HL7 suit so that we can use its methods. So I add a reference. And so I'll browse and we go to C program files x86 pop a key HL7 soup. And then we look for the HL7 soup integrations DLL and we will add that to our project. Now I'll add a using statement that adds the hl 7 soup namespace and it's hl 7 soupintegrations Now I just make my class inherit from custom transformer. Uh, because it inherits from custom transformer we have to implement our abstract class and that provides us with an inbound message for when the data has been transformed and it provides us with the uh, details about the workflow instance, uh, the message that was currently being processed, and a list of parameters that are being sent into the system. I'm going to start by creating some parameters that will be passed in. In order to do that, I add an attribute called parameter. And that takes the arguments. Uh, the first one is the name of the inbound parameter so the first one will be called first name and it's got a description and my second parameter is the last name and I correct my spelling mistake and so now I've configured the inbound arguments that this transformer is going to take. I'm also going to make it so it outputs a variable as well. And to do that, I create a variable attribute and I give it a name and I'm going to call it concatenated name. And I have to give it a sample value as well. Sample values are used to help with bindings. So the return result is going to look like Smith, John. Okay, so now I've configured what comes into my transformer and what goes out of my transformer, I can write the logic for the transformer itself. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the values out of the parameters and put them into local variables. So I'll create a string called first name and I'll make it equal the parameter which has been passed in and I'm going to get the instance called first name and I'm just going to copy that from the top so I don't make any mistakes and then the last name and once again I'll copy that from the top now I didn't have to add the parameters to variables but I just prefer that in my code next I'm going to create another variable which concatenates the two together we'll put that concatenated name and we'll set that to equal string dot format and I'll just join those two together and put in the last name first and the first name great so now that I've done my business logic for this transformer all I have to do is return it and so to return a variable we just have to add it into the workflow instance so I just type workflow instance and then I set the variable and the first argument is the name of the variable which in this case is concatenated name 
control once again, copy, and we pass in the value. And that's it. Our transformer is written and ready to be deployed into HL7 Soup. It's actually really easy to deploy to HL7 Soup. All I'll have to do is build my transformer. And then we're going to navigate to the directory that our DLL was just created in. So it's been debug. And we can see here's our custom transformer sample DLL. I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to navigate to the HR7 soup directory um, called custom libraries. Uh, that's in C program files, pop a key, HR7 soup custom libraries. And I'm just going to paste that file into there. And that's all I have to do in order to deploy it in HR7 soup. So now I'll load up HR7 soup and we'll try our activity out. And so we're going to edit our existing transformer sample workflow. Uh, that we created in another video and I'll provide a link for that in the comments. Uh, I just navigate to our sending activity. It has a transformers section already set up. And all I want to do is add in our new transformer. And here's our concatenated name transformer. And I'll place that in and automatically it's generated the first name and last name fields from the parameters. So now all I have to do and it's easier to do this on full screen, is to bind in the patient's name, the given name to the first name, and the family name to the last name, and we're mapped. Now that we've configured the transformers, uh, we just have to bind in that variable into the name field. Uh, the easy way to do that is just to create a connection uh, between an arbitrary field and the name field that we're trying to populate. And then I'm just going to change the value coming into that to text and variables, uh, replace the binding that was in there. And if I click insert variable, we shall find our concatenated name is now available to us. And so just like that, we've created a brand new custom transformer that allows us to write and interact with the workflow in .NET. We do have other videos that show you how to debug these custom transformers, and it's very easy to do that with Visual Studio. You just attach to HL7 Soup but I'll provide a, a link to those in our comments as well. And also there is a, a sister video to this where we look at the general usage of transformers in HL7 Soup, and, and that shows more about how those transformers were created and the workflow that we're going to be running this in. Please feel free to give us any comments you might have, and if these videos are helping you out, please subscribe to our channel. And also you'd help us out greatly if you like our videos. Also, don't forget that the code for this is going to be available in a link I'll attach to the comments as well. Thank you.